Hey, lighten up, Francis. Isn't that what he says? Do you remember Star Search with Ed McMahon? Side story. There was a Star Search night at some club, and I went to it with my friend Kristen. And she heckled the person running the thing. There were some lousy acts. I don't think the people appearing on stage, doing their talent to try to get noticed and picked up and put on Star Search, I don't think these people deserved the heckling. But the MC was kind of obnoxious. And so Kristen yelled from the back of the room, Where's Ed McMahon? And the guy goes, What's your name? And she goes, Princess. It's brilliant. He couldn't say anything. And he tried and asked, What did you say? And she said, Princess. Dead end. So he had to just go on with his wretched little show. Which then would put people in line for a show that was often wretched. The thing I loved about Star Search was, number one, pretending to hate watch it when I secretly loved it. You know this. If you're watching America's funniest, most talented people, whatever these things are, you know, that come over from England and then we call it American and it's really actually something that we've thieved from across the pond, as I often say, and as no one else in the world says. You think you hate it. You think you're watching America Likes Dancing or Dancing with the Stars, you know, celebrity this, that, or the other. You're, you're watching it just to make fun of it with your 12-year-old. No, you're not. You liked it. You enjoyed it. And the thing I loved the best about Star Search was there was always a modulation. And always the audience would applaud just because there was a modulation, even before the singer came in. Even before the singer came in, so it'd be like, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. They loved it. It's kind of nice to be pleased by something that simple. Princess.